So here is the Micro Machines uh, Star Wars Darth Vader transforming head. So what I'll do here is um, just talk about what comes with it and then some of the details and the features to it. So starting out with this one, you can see you get all the features here. So first is just a uh, Vader. Um, it's relatively simple, just kind of standing in a, you know, like a normal posture. Then you've got Chewbacca with C-3PO attached to his back, broken C-3PO. You get uh, Luke with his lightsaber, um, pretty standard figure. This one comes in a lot of different sets. Pretty amazing detail there though on the clothes. You get an Ugnaught A stormtrooper, and you get uh, Lando as well with his cape, and then you get the slave one. So this is just the standard uh, slave one, like you get in most of the other releases. The one thing that is kind of cool about this. Um, it doesn't work very well, but it does actually have um, rotating uh, fins here on the side. So it should work, but these are, you can see, it's like a soft rubber. So this actually is, might be different than the other versions. But either way, let's just get with it. So here is the actual um, head itself. So there's one small thing that I don't like about this head, and that is the width of the base. So you can see it's a very narrow base. So unless you have this on a very level surface, um, this thing is liable to tip over pretty easily um, and you can damage the front of it. So one thing just to be cautious of if you get this, but um, pretty cool looking Vader. When you go to the back, you can see here, there's the window that you'll see what the function of that is. And then like a little swing arm here. And then again, there's the bottom. So I'll go ahead and open this up. So when you open it up, this is um, Cloud City, pretty iconic. Love all the Cloud City stuff. Um, you can see here some of the detail on the stickers. So this is uh, the simulating the battle that uh, Luke and Vader have. And then obviously you're gonna throw them out the window here in a minute, which I'll show you that. Um, and then down here on the bottom, uh, kind of a tunnel. And then you have your carbon freezing chamber and then this opens up as well. So this ends up being the landing platform. And then in here, you actually have some cool sticker detail. So those are all stickers that are applied on the inside of that. Um, and then what happens here is you can rotate this piece and it makes the Han Solo and Carbonate come up. So kind of walking through this front to back, there's really that's the only kind of major feature is that piece and then this part up here, which will shoot Luke out in a second. Um, so you could basically have your slave one here on the landing platform and then you know, if it takes off. So here is what this looks like. So there's a little um, stand you can see right here that you will put Luke on and this piece right here, when you push this forward, will hit this It'll kick open the window and shoot him out the back. So you kind of have to have him positioned in the right place. Put him like right here on the front of it. Like that. And then swing the arm forward and boom. Breaks the window open and he pops out. Pretty cool feature. That's the, really the only feature on this specific one beyond the carbonate thing that moves up and down. But overall, I think just the scene itself kind of speaks for itself. Again, with Han Solo and Carbonite, all of the figures that go along with it, this is a pretty cool play set to be able to do, uh, play with. So close that up and store the figures in a couple different places. So, you know, I typically like to kind of store the figures in here. And then as you close it, they're gonna move around all over the place anyways. And then you can put Slave One up in here somewhere. 
try to fit it in like that. Go ahead and close it, and there you go. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.